Hello there Malaysia, this is Jericho here and this is a wait a minute production. Today is the wait a minute. Hey, come come on. Today is the 25th of July 2014. So Friday is 8.23 pm. So let's get on cracking. This is the uh, finished uh EXS fighter. Looks like a fighter. Okay, that's from the top and from the side, it will look like so. So doing this EXS fighter Gundam thingy, it seems like I'm doing a, a Macross thing actually. Uh, yeah, really really is like a Macross fighter. So I gotta get it in view. So it comes with a stand, thank god for that. So comes with a fight and other stuff as well, uh, extra pieces down here and if you notice down there, there is a wing, this is the wing, extra wing which is supposed to be, just imagine it to be at the side there, I'm not going to put it, I'm not going to put it back because if I were to put it back inside, I'm afraid of a domino effect which means that everything will come tumbling down. The connections are not that great. Because I tried not to connect some piece. Oh god. Whew. Thank god nothing fell when I accidentally uh, rotated the lazy Susan. So that's what it looks like. This massive piece of thing is. You can see there is a the gun here that is reminiscent to this. Uh, the smart gun in Aliens movie. So from the front it looks like so. It's a big thing, okay? It's very, very long indeed. Just like my dick. Whew, look at that. It's bloody long. Very long. So size comparison. Uh, let's see what can I use. It. Uh, let's uh, use this one here, which is the the. Master Grade Shenlong. Uh, that's how. Actually, I'm gonna transform it into a robot soon. Uh, Shenlong looks like, uh, like so in front, about here, and it is like two times or more the length of Shenlong or the height of Shenlong. It's very long thing. It's a very long fighter unit. Very very long indeed. So this is a complete transformation transform mode a la Macros or Valkyrie Fighter. Need some music actually. So I'm gonna transform this big ass thing here. This will be the last time that it will look like so a fighter. Uh, not really looking like a fighter. I do not know the specifics of this, uh, this, this transformable Gundam at all. It's uh, maybe a MSV or a mobile suit variant. That means it's not in any of the animes. Maybe I'm not sure. So it's got wings, of course, and you can see this is the foot, of course. Uh, laser beams for the legs here, and there's uh, extra wings here as well. Why would it need wings when it can fly in space? Blasters up there and the rocket backpack up there. Lots and lots of stuff. So let's transform this baby back into robot mode. So this one here, might as well discard it, it's not that important. So this orange part here is going to come out now. So quite easy. So what can it what can it do? So this is a bloody ugly looking thing. It's like reminiscent of a, a World War II fighter's uh, cockpit or nose. So what you have to do is you have to take out this 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 part here, which is a container. So yeah, it's uh, easy to take it out, like so. And what you have left is this part here, which is the shoulder. 
and arm as well. If you look properly, the arm is here. You're supposed to close the fist when you transform it like so, but uh, you, the hands or fingers are a bit too, like say, too tight, so I do not want to like force it, and if I force it, then a lot of stressing will happen and the black inner frame will become whiter because of stress. So you look at it, this one is actually supposed to be covered. So might as well cover it. Cover it like so. The back here as well, cover it like so. So it's the same shit. So I'll make sure it does not come out. It's not a, a screw supposed to make it both of these outer parts, these orange parts, move together but the screws are not long enough and it did not connect so it moves individually by itself. So now we are left with the arms here. So open up the arms like so and uh, and there's some a lot of moving parts actually which is very very cool indeed. This is a side part, take it out like so and push it like so hopefully I know what I'm doing and uh, and like so like so uh, no 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 uh, robot mode has this thing like so yeah like that why is that why why are people playing with uh, fireworks outside or maybe it's uh, some kind of a uh, Muslim thing, uh, Hari Raya or some kind of Muslim celebration is happening. So push it, push it, push it a bit, like until like so. Then you can just uh, this tab here, push it back in, like so, and connect it with a clicky click click, like so. And now you have the arms, yeah, with the digits. I don't know why I like to like do my reviews of Gundams at night, maybe because it's cooler. Yeah, maybe so. <clears throat> so just now I was saying that we was missing this uh, extra piece here. This is the wing section. Uh, bear in mind that this part here, this sticker, this is red sticker, so it will come out easily. So what you can do is uh, super glue it. So did I say this is Daban model? Yes, this is from Daban model. This uh, wing here, make it smaller by doing like so. Oh shit. Fuck. Uh fuck fuck fuck. Okay, it came out. Okay, it's back inside. So push it in and yeah, that's how it's done. So there's a connector here, so push it back inside. Like so. fuck. I mean shit. It's gonna be a wrong long review. Like so, and ta-da, this is the left left shoulder army thingy. And this one here, uh, this is quite cool. You try to like uh, cover the damn thing, but uh, it does not close all the way. So put push it back into opening mode, which is, fuck, shit. Like so, and... Uh, Hopefully the other part closes as well easily. Now I might just open this part here. Uh, oh, fuck it. I mean, shit. Okay, like open already. There's a tab there for the connector which you have to push out. Uh, So, and there you have it, the arm is like so. This is a white sticker, it keeps on coming out because like stickers, when you stick it on a round surface, it's gonna be fucked. So push this thing like so. I think it's like that, I'm not sure. Uh, look at, look at, look at, look at the... What it looks like. Okay, I think I got it. I hope. Ah. Uh, 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 uh. Ah. 
do not know, do not know. Not that familiar with this damn thing, actually. Uh huh. I think I got it. I hope. I hope. I hope. I hope. Yeah, it should be like that. Go in, Mr. Tap. Let's go in, motherfucker. So you got a transform already, so I'm gonna do the other transformation. So with the power editing, by pressing off and on, and see you in whatever stitch the damn video. Bye bye. Just do the arms, yeah. So welcome back. Uh, next up is uh, going to be the legs part here. So I'm gonna like take out one of the legs. Yes, gonna take out this leg here. Look at it. It's uh, you got the white part here. You think that the this is the feet, right? This is the feet. You think that this is actually part of the Gundam, but no, it's actually something else. The feet here are supposed to be black and not white. So we're going to see a very uh, cool looking transformation. So this is the blaster from the side cannon. So I'm going to leave it as it is. So what I'm supposed to do now is, I'm not sure, this part here is supposed to push it in front. Yeah, I think. Uh, the legs here, or the ties here, would have to be like so, and push it like so to achieve a much normal looking leg. So this part here is supposed is the actually the what you call very elongated kneecaps. Yes, kneecaps. So you can see it can open up like so, but it's not supposed to do so. So I'm gonna like have to push it up. Okay, see what happens when you push it up. Like so, yeah. And uh, do it like so. So it's pushed up until it's the maximum. <clears throat> this part here, this white part, as I said earlier, is not supposed to be black. It's supposed to be black like so. This is just a cover when it's transforming into a fighter, which will be the last time that I'll transform it into a fighter. So, boop, boop, boop. See what happens. And make sure it's uh, not blocking the way. Push it in. Like so. Then you can push it in some more by pushing it in. Like so. And it becomes like that. And close it. And the feet here, you can pull it down. I think. Or pull it like that, and uh, this ankle here push it up. <sighs> oh, you can pull the leg down and push this ankle here upwards. Thing, uh, like so. Yeah, now it's like even, really, it's flat, not uh, uneven when it's transformed. So this is the leg. Uh-huh. Yep, it looks like the leg. Indeed. This is the leg. So, with the power editing and whatnot, uh, actually, the power of editing is not so good now. Okay. Yeah, I might just leave it like so. Excuse me. Disturbingly enough, never mind. Again, for the legs here, easy peasy, like so, push it like so, uh, pull it like so, and this one take it out, push it inside, push it like so, easy peasy, and the legs here, push it like so. Pull it down and put it back up the heels and voila quickly quickly done done and dusted and easy peasy again. 
might be thinking, holy shit, there's a lot of moving parts in this damn thing. That makes it bloody unique indeed. Very, very unique. Very, very unique. And therefore, this unit here, theoretically speaking, cannot and will not stand on its own two feet. Next up, the smart gun, alien smart gun. Take it out of the f down part here. Come out, come out, come out, you damn thing. Yep, thank you very much. Uh, this is uh, the tab here just now. It's supposed to connect it, but I did not pull it like so, and it becomes a handle. And ta da! It's a gun. Easy enough. Next up would be. God knows, I do not know. This part here, there's. You can take it out. Helps with stability, actually. This one is a connector, push it downwards so you can take this part out easily. The whole thing will collapse, so most likely, without this part here, which is like the bedrock and stability of this unit. Oh shit, so where does this actually go? Uh, aha, it's supposed to be there. God damn it, why did you come out? Oh, oh shit, there he goes. So, this thing here is supposed to be like so. Yep. Remember this uh, wings here? It's the wings for the core fight. I'm from now see the core fighter. Push it down like so like so Then you, you have to fold the wings and you look at the red part here is coming out. This wings here push it like so push it like so the super glue damn thing it's all coming out and the best way is to paint it but this is uh, this red is glossy red so it's nice so what you can do is push it like so and push it like so yeah so it's all together yeah actually tr okay I'm gonna push it up this one I have to push it up when it's like this, this is the way the core fighter or the fighter mode should be done. So, come out. Like so, push it until the... Like so. Straight up like that. Okay, this is what the core fighter is supposed to be like. This is a, like a cockpit which is being blocked and can't open the cockpit. But just imagine that there is a fighter here. It's a fighter, yeah. Same design as this fighter here, which I'm going to show you afterwards. Look at them; they look the same, right? Hey, you can't see. Okay, it looks like the same shit. Look at the same design. This is a fighter. So I'm going to show you what this fighter is. Just imagine this thing is actually on that stand there. So it looks similarly like that one, almost. Not really, but never mind. Okay. So if I take out this piece here, right, like so, uh, I mean, shit. so this is a fighter, take out the fuck, I mean, shit, the copy cannot open, okay, just in case you wanted to know. And the wings will come out, uh, not that easily, but just like so, just like so. Shit. The small little wings are hard to come out, like so. So you just imagine the other part of the small wings came out, okay, I'm gonna like, go and do that. 
So uh, this is a fighter. No no wheels or or landing pads for it. So put it back into its former grace, which is close all the all the wings back into it, and push this one back inside, like so, and transform it like so, and you will get something like like this here. It's the same shit. Just imagine it like so. It's just a representation of what it can be. This thing here is just to cover the thing. This one can actually become a fighter as well because it's got wings. Wings at the side there, which. Uh, yep, wings come out like so. There's a one the other side as well, so just imagine I took it out. And uh, you dock the fighter into here. Close it here. And hopefully there's a sickening click, but there's none. So just imagine it's stable and and does it look like a fighter to you? It does not look like a fighter to me at all. Okay, so something like can open like so. It's nice to actually like uh, go and just super glue the damn cockpit thing. So yeah, it's just it's weird stuff. So enough of this damn core thingy extra fighter. So now it's uh, to the most intricate part of the transformation, aka the fucked up part. Uh, fuck. So these are the the super mega big boosters. So what am I supposed to do with this damn thing? I'm not sure. God damn it. So the chest piece is here, okay, look at it, the chest piece is here, without the head, where's the head? The head is actually below here, you can see this is the head, it's supposed to be up here, so it's weird that it's down there. So, uh, questions, questions, questions. So I have to like, uh, think about how to actually get it in place. I think I'm gonna push it like so, so push it down. See, it's push. It's been pushed down, 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 and down some more with a sickening crunch. Hopefully, no sickening crunch yet. Fuck. Camera, make it. Uh, is there something blocking it? Aha. Okay, these these things. There's a tab there that puts these thrusters in place. So let's get it out of the way. <sighs> okay, how do I align the damn thing? Well, so what 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 must I do to get it? Force, do I have to use force? Let's get my brick stuff. Aha. Yes, got it aligned properly, no? Yes, sickening crunch. 
got it. And you might be thinking, oh, this fella here has a very, very short uh, head and stuff. Yeah, not really. So the tail here can be put like this, can put like this, can put like this. It's supposed to be like this, pushing it up here and there'll be a tab and there it goes. It's in place already. Hopefully you're seeing it. Yep, it's in place. So the head is actually very, very, can't see the head. So we had to push the head up. Uh, how so? No idea. Okay, I'm gonna pull the head up. Just like... Ah, oh, fuck. No, 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 no. It's not supposed to be like that. Okay, I'm gonna push the head up. Just push it up. Push it up, push it up. <sighs> Fuck. Aha. Uh -huh. Yep. Pushed up. Push it up. Is this the maximum that it can go? Nope. It's been pushed up already. More. Will it come out? Will the head come out? Yep, it's the maximum already. <sighs> Fucking hell. Okay. Then uh, you can see there's a gap there, you're supposed to close it like uh, this thing here is supposed to close the yellow thing, you see it's going up, 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 and up. And push the the chest part in again, it's supposed to be, uh, not really, no, it's just like so. So this is uh, what it looks like. The back part back part here is supposed to be like so and like so and no idea so like so quite a lot of screws did I tell you that this uh, unit so this is a uh, ordinary looking face head thingy nice and uh, the weave in push it like so push it like so okay and you got the weave in and this round little thing I can actually detach itself but I'm not going to like detach it for you I guess it's a, some, some kind of weapon system so this is the fighter core thingy, look at this tip here, careful with that, it might destroy itself. So next up is quite simple enough, so I have to put the camera properly. Oh god damn it. This part here. Now transform it, make sure this part here is always like so. So let's stick it out. Uh, oh yeah, I almost forgot to tell you, there's uh, some tabs here, the for stability, you can actually pull it and push it in, like so, yeah, and just now this extra piece came out, so I have to push it into this poly cap here. So and just push it in, Let's close it. So it's not that important, but uh, just letting you know about it. There are actually three f three pilots in this damn thing. Actually, I don't know why there are so many pilots. Isn't it going to be like uh, too many people, too many cooks who in the broth, so to speak? Push the wings back into place. I think this is how it's supposed to look. I hope. It is as uh, closed as it can get this configuration. As I said earlier, this is actually a fighter. So let's take this front part here. Okay, it comes out. This one is actually holding the weapon system or the smart gun, the huge MG42. 
and I want this thing to come out, but it's very difficult to come out indeed. Fuck you! I mean, sorry, I didn't not say that. Uh, come out, please. Why are you so difficult? Why are you being like... Oh, God damn it. Never mind. I wanted to show you what the fighter looks like. I can take it out and transform it into the fighter. But uh, if you look at it, there is some people inside there. If you can like zoom in, there's two of them up, up, and uh, there's another cockpit down here. Uh, yep, there's another person there. There are three pilots. There's one pilot here and another. Let's close this cockpit above here so and you can transform into a into a fighter if I can get this damn thing out of the butt plug but I can't so it's this essentially it's the same shit as what this thing looks like this uh, just imagine it like so it's almost the same thing uh, look at it so it's the same design okay just to let you see what it's supposed to be like. The only difference between two of these things is, yeah, only difference is, this one here is black, the cockpit is black, this one here is orange cockpit fighter. So it's got the same crotch or cock. And the uh, difference is, this thing here has the wings, the very big wings, and also the parts that connects the hips to the legs. So it's the same representation, I can't actually take it out of the anal butt plug, it loves to so be sodomized by the stand too much, therefore it was unwilling to let me take it out and show you what the fighter actually looks like. So next up is going to be... this thing here which I'm going to put the chest on the fighter thingy there are some parts here which can connect to each other which I hope everything must be aligned properly all the holes holes must be aligned for it to connect or in Japanese katai These babies together because love is all we need in this world that we live in and things do not seem to be as it supposed to be am I missing something huh uh, aha now I understand I hope and there you got it or oh, there you have it So, yeah. make sure the back part is also connected properly to it because that one is important for stability. The backpack is very, very heavy, and this part here, this here is supposed to connect to the big part here, so it's got to be, it's supposed to support the weight of the thrusters. must understand once you transform this baby everything else is just fuck I don't care anymore it's fucking hell see what bad was doing this baby here I'm a mild minor person so it's very uncharacteristic of me to say bad words okay got it so it's the front part wow 23 minutes really shit this one, put it back into the front part here. <sighs> now 
is this part here which is extra pieces for the chest part so it's like a full armor thing just put it in front like so there's a sickening crunch and push it like so so it's extra armor hmm, strange but never mind and we are almost at the end thank you very much My legs here put it like so excuse me get a leg put it like so and voila like so you can have the lasers pointing forwards or backwards it's up to you and the arms here Quite a tight fit, actually. Fuck. Uh. Well, so it's heavy on one side. So we stabilize it with heaviness on the other side. Blaster thingy, quite a big piece. This is the connector, just push it in. Oh, damn it. Oh, yeah, did I tell you that this connector can actually elongate itself? Ah, fuck. You can actually push it. So can come longer it's up, up to you yeah. comes longer or you can just make it shorter like so so it's up to you and push it in let's go in mother This is the. This is what it looks like. The fighter, uh, fighter. Uh, yeah. So it can make it look a bit more threatening. Have uh, him having his legs or karyanka or open up. Karyanka is something like a dirty word, right? You want your girlfriend to open up her legs. Have the lasers in front. Wanting to shoot somebody. These parts here are blocking the way. And it's not that stable at all. Put the long part here. Go down, go down, go down. And hopefully it will be stable. Not really. So this is the what it looks like. Kind of. The EXS fighter. With a big effing gun in front. Quite big indeed. Very nice. Oh, very nice. Okay, some of the things that you have to know about this baby here. This is from Daban Model, and I must say that the the stickers are not. The stickers are good. The drive transfers are abnormally good. The drive transfer is like uh, very easy to adhere to, and and the whole thing is like like sticky, sticky thing. So you just cut off the small part of the tri drive transfer with the logo, and put it on, and slightly give it a. Uh, once you put it in the right position, just give it a little nudge and the whole thing will stick together and from there you can use something blunted and and make put it give a lot of pressure and you'll come out the stencil will come out. So it's Dabban models they have a very good dry transfer policy transferring stuff. It's sticky. So it's not like a TT only which is fuck all stupid. So Dabban model trusted brand in dry transfers and also stickers technology Whew. so what can I say this ones here the trusters here have been painted by me gold uh, the whole backpack 
is very black so you can actually do some silver this is a light brush of silver just to highlight the panel lining you can't panel line it because it's black in color so yes yeah, quite light so there's uh, some blasters here the gold here I've done it myself the gold here as well done it myself you see any silver and gold is my own doing Let's look at the trusters here it's silver inside that's my own doing and I just this is a transformable fighter and it looks great and everything moves even these ankles here it moves everything moves 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 and you can open this part up and expose some kind of thing that can come out I don't know what the hell is it is it a type of funnel system that flies around shooting things I'm not sure I'm not sure at all so reminiscent of the Sasabi's funnel system but this one does not have any like uh, wings to make it fly or fly or fly everywhere but I guess this funnel system is just for space space does not need any wings at all because it only needs holes for air to come out to navigate or have the the funnel move around so the the this laser thingy is whole thing is black but I painted it uh, gold here and uh, gold on the fan thingy and the silver stuff around and this one here is uh, all silver I painted it gold this one here this wire is supposed to be red it's actually black so what I did was paint the whole thing silver then I put red marker on it because you can't put a red marker on top of the black it's hard it's this ones here are all uh, silver that's my doing it's supposed to be black this handle here is supposed to be silver I painted it uh, sorry it's supposed to be black I painted it silver and this part here I've uh, the blues are stickers the green gold silver those are my own shit the green here is my own shit as well this one this barrel here is my own shit it's all silver very nice so it's a uh, too long a review already so I put to cut it short so my thoughts is double model very very nice very nice you can move this laser smart gun thingy and uh, move it around it's uh, very stable on his crotch this gun it's going to take a lot of space okay this unit because it's so big it's very big Sheng Long when you put it side by side it's like so okay oh it's very very big indeed huge very huge So the drive transfers you all put all there. It's all done very nicely, very easily, very nicely. Drive transfer can be uh, not a pain in the butt hole, but if it's done well, the drive transfer is processed well. So there's an extra uh, stand there for the fighter, which is this one here. You can put it on top there. It's up to you. So. The whole thing is supposed to be black, the thrusters are supposed to be black, I painted it silver. It looks great actually, I love the transformation, transformationable uh, quality to it. It can transform and therefore everything, especially legs, they are all... The armor can move here and then everywhere, it's up to you, wow. You can do as whatever you like the transformation, but uh, transforming it into a fighter is a pain in the ass. You experience it once, you wouldn't want to experience it again. So I would say this is a very good thumbs up fighter. It can't like uh, stand on its own, so it has to have an action base which is provided in the Daban box. It's great. The the beef in here is okay, but the small little wings here. Uh, 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 fins here, the yellow ones. It's very small, so be careful. And it's kind of like not in, uh, not aligned. So I did not want to touch it. I don't want to like put any like super glue because I do it once. That's enough already. Uh, the face is reminiscent to a Zeta face, so nice touch there. I love the side burns, the yellow parts, very nice. And this gold part here is I don't know what the hell it is. Uh, it's supposed to be all black, but I painted it gold and silver. Everything's not bad indeed. So where is that uh, thumbnail? 
Is this going to be a thumbnail? Uh, should be this one thumbnail. Uh, thumbnail. Thumbnail. Uh, thumbnail. Thumbnail. Maybe. Okay, thumbnail. Ah, that's it. So. Very nice, very nice indeed. Very, very beautiful indeed. Very big, very taking lots of space. Big. Uh, one of the des designs that I do not like. Uh, bunny ears looks fine. This bunny ears is okay. But what I hate most is this one here. This damn thing looks bloody, bloody ugly. This thing here by the side. Uh, uh, what you can do is just take it out by just pushing it down and it will be gone. Because it's ugly as F. Shit, those guns here facing forwards, nice. The barrels is silver, therefore I have painted it. It's supposed to be black in color only. So you can paint quite a lot of stuff. You look at the sides here, it's silver inside that I painted that. The handle here is gold and silver, I painted that. Uh, gold there, I mean silver there, I painted that. It's all supposed to be black. So you can have to, you have to paint some just to make it looking nice. See down there, there's a bit silver on the foot that I painted that. And thrusters, the side of the legs, I painted that. Everything has been painted. This one here, the antenna, I painted that silver and gold. Careful, because it's very small indeed. So that's about it. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this uh, video review. And uh, yeah, like it or subscribe. It's up to you. Bye-bye. Damn, this video has been a long, long time coming. I almost forgot to do a video on ec the extra stuff, actually. So the polycaps is double. So let's see. This polycap is just one extra stuff. That's it. And I'll just put it on top. This is double model. Yes. Sit down on my cushion so my ass wouldn't be painful. So polycaps is just one extra. Oh, it's warm, so I bet up. Oh, it's warm day. This one is extra, this is red in colors. So, this one is for the crotch, which is that one. So, instead of red, you can put it as... Uh, instead of orange, you can put it as red here. So, that's extra. This thing here has this small piece, not sure what it does, so... I think this is for the cockpit, one of the cockpit, you know? Uh, who, who knows? So that's extra. This small little runner has the this part here and some two of these round parts, which is similar to what you get at the head. Can you see that round thingy which can be detached? And that uh, red thing piece? Yep, this one. And res it, res it, res it, ah, and this one here, so extra. And the L runner, which is a multi colored runner. These round little things, those are the extra parts, which is for this part here, which is red in color. Uh, yep, this, this part here is red in color, but the, this one you can choose it as orange. This K part has this one extra, I think it's for one of the, the cockpit things, so that's extra. And be wondering why is there a full runner that's blue in colour, that hasn't been used at all. It's because the EXS fighter from Daban model uh, comes in two colours. Either you can have the traditional blue colour or you can have the orange colour. I do not know whether Bandai has this extra feature or not, but with Daban you can have the original color which is blue, which is this one, or you can have it as orange. I prefer the orange because, well, you don't see many Gundam that is orange in color, do you? Nope, you don't see much of them in orange. Red, yes, white, yes, blue, yes, orange, not so much. So that's the one I went for, instead of the traditional blue. So, yep, a whole full runners for the Gundam, even for the fighter. Hmm, interesting.
So similar to this thing here, not to use at all for the ugly ass looking sight booster thingies. Yep, not used at all. I'm not gonna like open it up at all because if I were to take these babies out of the other parts which is not duplicated, it will just stress the hole and the stick, you know. You get what I mean? So this is the same thing, left and right, left and right. And that's about it. And two lightsabers, of course. If I were to choose to like have the lightsabers or beam sabers with this type of uh, color, all you have to do is just grab this one here. This is the beam saber, and that's the beam saber, which is snugly uh, connected to the what you might call it knee parts here, the extra long knee parts. So hopefully, I haven't forgotten about anything at all. Mm, looking great as usual the EXS fighter extraordinary fighter some parts I have to like color it green like so like so uh, with markers from Daiso there's five bucks only like so like so there were sometimes some parts that are supposed to be gray that's featured inside the book but it's not gray here weird indeed and there is also one time that I was like doing the cutting up and whatnot. Uh, this Daban is great shit. I love Daban. Daban is my favorite. After TT Hongli, then after TT Hongli will be GHD and whatnot. So extra parts do not use at all. In the future, would I change or have a color swap? Not really. I do not want to like go through doing this again because that's a nightmare you know, I think it took me only about five days to complete the whole damn thing uh, when I was doing it I was like simultaneously panel lining it panel lining it panel lining it normally I would have done all of the whole thing without panel lining it but since it's such a big piece so I might as well panel lining panel lining panel line it while putting it together so and also time simultaneously painting every little nook and cranny especially those inner parts because i'm lazy to actually take out the armor once i have a uh, uh, know which part needs painting so there's one part here which uh, shocked the shit out of me when it says that there's a pc or polycap number 19 and i checked my polycaps and i was wondering i don't have 19 i used it for something else it's not actually PC-19, it's something else. It's supposed to be, I think, I-19. So there's a hiccup here. This is a direct copy from Bandai's own booklet. So Bandai uh, did a, made a mistake and got me scared. So what I had to do was I skipped this portion of the wings, which is the bunny wings. This is the bunny wings. This is the bunny wings for the shoulders. I skipped that part because of the missing pieces and I started doing the rest of the parts and after that once I finish everything uh, the last one will be the huge gun uh, the smart gun or the MG42 gun if you like World War 2 then I got together and saw all the parts that were left and I realized that this PC-19 is not PC-19 it is I-19 so shame on you Bandai I know Daban model or Titi Hongli or all those copiers in Taiwan or China, they wouldn't fuck that up because they just copy it straight away from Bandai's. So Daban model, very good, very good. So what else am I going to do next? Next, fortunately enough, will be a Daban model again. This is uh, Rick Dom. I don't want to do any more hero Gundams. I've done a lot of Gundam wings. You don't see them here because it's in KL. So this one I want to do because it's huge, the pieces are huge, nice, bell bottom 80s, 70s style jeans, nice. What else do I have from Daban? Uh, Titi Hongli is scary, so Daban, 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 there's a seven sword uh, double riser there, Daban model, great shit. The rest is Titi Hongli, uh, there's a Bandai, there's a, I think there's a Titi Hongli, right? Uh, that full armor unicorn. There's a double model of a duel and also a double riser. Not the same as that. That one's seven swords. What else is there that's from Daban? Uh, 
nothing else. I got two Bandais, which is the Goof and the Gil Goog. And no, three Bandais. And also the Death Side Hell, which is a Bandai. I think, yeah. Should be. Somewhere about there, there's a logo I can't see because it's on top. Maybe I should go on top. Yep, it's a Bandai. Then there's a TT Hongli, very old Dynamis. I haven't done all these things, I haven't done. Then there is a Charles, Z uh, Charles Zakutu. Uh, Titi Hongli Sinanju, this Titi Hongli Death Sign Normal, and uh, that's about it. I suspect that uh, full armor unicorn is Titi Hongli, most likely. Let me go and see. Yep, it's Titi Hongli indeed. So that's about it. There are more Daban models out there, Astra A, whatever, than the RX uh, stuff and stuff. So I cannot buy them because I cannot find them cheaply so hopefully I'll find them one day once I've uh, finished everything up especially that uh, perfect great zero custom pearl mirror coating version from TT Hongli of the Gundam Wing Endless Waltz version and there is a what should we call it Dead or Alive Kazumi Kasumi very sexy indeed so that's about it and Zia not many Bandai's left huh? god damn it Oh, almost finished everything. Not really, actually. Still tons and tons of all these pirated Gundams to find. The only thing is price. Where to find them cheaply? That's my goal in life so far. Besides cosplay. Bye-bye. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.